What is going on guys, today we are looking at Headliner Bamba, one of the last headliners from this week. I believe we've still got our Marvi to do, um, I'm probably going to leave Herodeki and Hintiger just because it's so far gone now, but I thought, you know what, I really like Bamba, I think he's a quality card, I could not miss him. Potentially I could miss our Marvi because we have got Informs tomorrow, and then obviously that then leads into Thursday, so... We potentially will do him Thursday just to get him out there. We also have a lot of icons to get through as well. We've managed to pack Carlos Alberto and then we've got a few icons just up the sleeve ready to go into reviews. So we want to do that before we get the second team of headliners and hopefully we can get more out. I feel like it's kind of been a little bit off the pedal saying that going two videos a day. Normally I've been stretching for free but I've been so wrapped up with gameplay with icon swaps. It is so so difficult to do all of these. Bamba though is a incredible player he's had a lovely player of the month a couple of nice informs i want to see him hit a huge huge level in the second half of this kind of like fifa fifa season so hopefully we do see that let's jump into this card and see how bamba can do so bamba is a high high work rate five nine right footed four star four star left mid he obviously had a few decent versions to be honest he weren't necessarily this average kind of player he's just finding out how much his player of the month actually came in at it was 86 rated as well in this current market he was 540k this card is coming in at 360k that's a huge huge difference and i think that's sometimes an issue with player of the months when you get stuff like this like you've granted you don't get headliners very often and to be honest you can never really tell if they're going to get one or not Fabinho didn't get a single inform and yet got a headliner Bamba could have done two could have not got one they could have been four of the players in left mid with four informers by now you never really know so the player of the month was a cracking card at the time now it looks like a little bit of a coin sink obviously we thought it was quite expensive um, personally that's one of the reasons why I was very very hesitant to do it if I wasn't trying to get content but honestly this card is it, it's nice. It's it's very very nice. I personally can't um, kind of like go into their team whether they will get three four wins in a row. So if you are following Lee Gun, let me know down below. Do you reckon they will get four games in a row? Obviously, then he gets an extra plus one. So any inform he'll be plus two ahead. Meaning his next inform, say if it's an eighty six for instance, and he already had the four wins, he would get up to an eighty eight, which is just incredible. It adds just that extra bonus, and that's what makes it worth it in my opinion. Because realistically, if you would kind of just go along with this, you wouldn't necessarily need the headliner too much, unless it was like someone like Neymar, whose price would jack up incredible amounts. Because realistically, you go by the inform. There's only a very, very slight difference, unless it's position, for instance, Zaha, that you would actually change. Like, if I went and got an 85 Bamba right now, he'd be very similar. There's just no two ways about it. A plus one doesn't do major, major upgrades not worth triple the coins the only time it's worth it is if you know that card's going to go really really high up and you want to see how it goes and you want to just have that latest version in terms of his stats pace is absolutely magnificent nothing really to change there finishing it could do with a little chem style nothing too taxing he's already got pretty much 80s and above in most of them stats passing wise again average i'd say he is all about pace shooting and dribbling passing again you could go with a dead eye that obviously would affect his overall assisting and shooting game turn him into a 93 right forward center forward or cam or a 91 left or right wing personally i can't see better than that i think everybody is looking at a dead eye for him because you don't need pace you don't need dribbling he's got 90 agility and balance 85 composure as well as 90 ball control dribbling and 83 reactions you literally do not need a single stat upgrade in there there's absolutely no need for that one stamina 83 it's good enough. 67 strength, 69 aggression. We kind of knew it with his kind of stature. He's quick, got a nice agility on him, got a nice balance on him. He's bound to have no strength. But let's jump into some gameplay and see how Bamba did. So with Bamba going down the wing, quick, very, very easy to pick out. And honestly, just even forcing it down there, 
he was absolutely phenomenal at just getting past defenders. And yes, there's some elements that it's kind of my fault, but you see that the skill involved there, maybe another ball roll into then the finesse may have opened up that space a little bit more. That is what he's capable of doing. We see here a lovely little chip across and Torres bags the rest. Absolutely cracking chest and volley from him. But we see it time after time just managing to get down our wing, bring the ball across, and we end up with another goal from it. Again, Torres scoring cheeky little volley but it's just time every single time defenders always come into the middle and it gives him that beautiful space to go straight over and kind of go around the back entrance and then just knock a ball inside even just a little chip through ball his passing for me was absolutely fine really didn't notice too much about him and i thought he was an overall a fun player to use obviously nicer with some upgrades as well so as you can tell we are in the overall portion i pretty much i did the the screen i think yesterday and it's pretty much stayed at the exact same prices about three 360 to 400 on the two different consoles i've given him a 9.4 i think he is a very well statted card he's got the four star four star french links great left mid good um, ability to possibly get upgraded he seems to be having some form of his life like i said if you know league on better than me let, let me know down below what do you think about him what do you think about him and obviously his team will he get upgraded i personally think he May not be worth the risk in buying the headliner, but definitely keeping tabs on him. Um, personally, he's 84, if we do have a quick look, is 80,000 coins. And to be honest, you're only missing out on plus twos and uh, minus twos and minus three. For me, that isn't a lot to be putting an extra 250k on. And obviously, I do know you're mainly putting all them coins on to know that when a next version comes out, you don't have to pay anything extra. But if you're keeping them coins on the 84, you don't see them dropping too much. You're absolutely laughing because you can sell them off by the time that's happened. Go buy the next inform and the next. And you don't have to spend stupid amounts of coins to potentially lose it if he does not get upgraded. So it's just my piece of advice. For it. I think plus one and twos, they're not really massively different. There's, there's some elements and obviously there are going to be, be better unless it's a position change. But in my, in my opinion doesn't really change them that much not enough to say wow this card has got rubbish in comparison to his brand spanking new 1 million coin headliner card but bamba for me is a solid player he's going to be one of them ones i think in team of the season everyone's going to want him very much like a ben Yedda last year the hype is around him i think a lot of people kind of knew who he and will know who he is now due to that player of the month because it got people talking obviously he gets the strong link to mbappe but he does take Neymar's spot as well. But personally, Renato Sanchez is obviously a strong link. Carrasco is a nice similar card. I've given him a 9.4. Let me know down below what you think. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.